Hey, how's it going, everyone? HFT here, Happy Fun Times here, back with another Don't Starve Together video. Uh, hold on a second, I, I really need a drink. Ugh. Uh. I just got done eating. And I wanted to get some of the shit, or some of the food, down the pipe, so to speak. Anyway, uh, as you can tell by the video and the thumbnail, Clay Entertainment finally fixed uh, this thing right here. So, no one before we get to it. Bam! Flash, bam, alakazam out of an orange colored sky. Look at that sexiness right there. That actually does look pretty good. It must be said. Uh, it honestly, man, I mean, it could be a little bit, you know, more different. Because here's the thing. Uh, one thing I, I genuinely want to show all of you real quick. Normally, when they do stuff in the Crystalline collection, uh, hold on, let me actually, let me spawn all the other Crystalline shit. Uh, let's see, Crystalline, Icebox, uh, I think this Thermal Stone skin, somewhere, there it is. I think this is part of the Crystalline as well. Uh, I know for a fact, uh, this is part of the Crystalline collection right here. So, that is that. What else do we have? Ah, uh, Starcaller's Staff, I believe, is part of the Crystalline Collection. Well, actually, I don't need to spawn that. I can just go down to Tools. And... There's that. And there's that. Alright, so... In the Crystalline Collection... Crystalline, Crystalline... I kind of like Crystalline a little bit better. It sounds nicer. In the Crystalline Collection... Uh, they've added a couple things. Trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. Uh, I know, obviously, there's the Shadow Manipulator, but I want to get to that in just a second. Uh, let's see, they did that. They did that. They did that. They did that. Uh, let me go through all my tools and shit real quick just to make sure I've got it all. Uh, I think the Salt Lamp Lantern is part of the Crystalline Collection. So, Salt Lamp Lantern. Uh, that is... Sh well, no, I didn't mean to pick it up. Uh, put it down. There we go. That is definitely got to be part of the Crystalline... Crystalline, whatever. Yeah, Crystalline Collection, whatever. Anything else that I'm missing? Anything in survival that I'm missing? I don't see anything. I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so. There's nothing in food. Is there anything in science? There's nothing in science. Is there anything in weapons? There's nothing in weapons. Uh, there's nothing else in buildings, I don't think. Oh, no, there is. This is also part of the Crystalline Collection. Right there. See, it's when you don't, it's when you actually start looking through shit, is when you start to realize, huh, that, yeah, that's, that's part of it too. Uh, there's nothing in here, I don't think. Obviously, there's nothing in the refinement tab. Is there any more shit in the magic tab? Nine, okay, there's, oh, no, there's, there's, okay, there's the hat. That is in the crystalline collection right there. And I picked it up. What? Max, Max will stop picking shit up, you fucking asshole. Fucking Kung Lao looking motherfucker. Alright. So that is part of the crystalline. Uh, what else is there? Was there anything else that I'm missing? Don't think there was, but I'm still... Excuse me, hiccup and a burp. Okay, I'm still gonna continue to look. No, we're good, okay. So, now obviously we have that... And we have that. 
Looks pretty good, doesn't it? And it actually does look pretty good. But I kind of have a bit of a problem with it. In terms of... Uh, hold on a sec. Let me go to the next day so you can actually see, goddammit. Uh, look at this right here. Uh, bam! That's, yeah, these look 100% identical. Y'all probably knew that was coming, because here's the thing. You had this right here. You know, that's different and unique. You had this right here. That's different. You had this right here, which does has, resembles nothing like this, because this actually, you know, is more white. And you see more of the snow, whereas this is actually crystals and shit. Uh, you have this right here, which is made of, like, you know, I guess crystals and gold and shit like that and gems. You have the salt lamp lantern, I don't know how that fall. I mean, I, well, salt crystals, I guess. Uh, you have this right here, which I don't know how that fits in. You have these right here. And, obviously, you have, recently we had this. And if there's anything in the collection I'm forgetting... We'll figure that out when we get to the actual, uh, curio cabinet when I'm done. Also, I found out recently, hey, you can see yourself through this, which kind of pisses me off. It reminds, if anything, translucent purple stuff like that reminds me a lot of, uh, you ever been to, uh, Chuck E. Cheese's? How they had, like, they used to have, like, um, those, uh, see-through clear translucent, like, purple, uh, plastic drink things that you can buy or get. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Or the thing in the Jimmy Neutron movie where they had like the uh, Jimmy had the purple thing from Retroland he was drinking shit out of it. Now here's the thing you can also see th uh, stuff through this I believe as well. Yep you can see stuff through that. But see that this is the problem. This is where I have a problem with this item. It does look good. It, it really does. But here's the thing. This is different. It's unique. There's not another there's nothing else in the game that looks like this. Same thing with this, 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 same thing with this. And same thing well, not with this. This was unique. And now they've kind of fucked it over by making a telelocator stab, which number one, not many people used to begin with, Clay. But, you know, I still like it anyway, because it looks nice, at least. It, they put effort into it, and the design is pretty. Although, I will say, this is the most complicated fucking Twitch drop that they've ever fucking released, to my knowledge. Because I think this is the very first Twitch drop, or at least in a long time, if it, there's more like it, that's genuinely, upon release, was fucking broken. Absolutely broken. I spent six hours yesterday to get the skin. I'm like, well, I have to wait until today for them to fix it. Twelve o'clock rolls around. One o'clock rolls around. Two o'clock rolls around. Three o'clock rolls around. It's like, what the fuck? Literally, m uh, seconds ago, before I actually started recording this, I had an update uh, queued for Don't Start Together, which was a hot fix and I, whatnot. But I really gotta check out that hot fix because see if there's a link for more points. Uh, they basically, you know, kind of fucked this over a bit by, when they made the skin, if you crafted it, you'd literally just be holding that in your hand, but it would re it'd sell the picture as that. And the only way to actually see this in game is if you were to fucking drop it in water. Like, any source of water around the constant. Now, the other thing with it was, if you were to drop it on the ground, it would just be literally that right there. You wouldn't actually see you wouldn't see anything sticking out of the ground, you just see a little black spot on the ground. But, now they fixed it, now it works, and, you know, etc, etc, it's fine now. So, all's right with the world, all as well. But the thing is, I like it, it is genuinely nice, but I don't like it for the fact of, it's literally just that. Sorry, the hiccup in a burp makes me sound like I'm fucking high or, or whatever the fuck or drunk. It sounds like, or, it, yeah, it sounds like, it looks like that more or less. And that Shadow Manipulator skin is my least favorite of the three, or technically four, if you count the classic one. Uh, it's my least favorite of all of them because, well, it looks cool, but at the same time, that looks more like a power crystal from uh, Crash Bandicoot. 
Well, now that translates into that, and that at least looks nice, whereas that just kind of is like, meh. I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, it, yeah, it just is what it is, I guess. That's all I can really say. The uh, stall of the fucking uh, telelocator staff is not all that bad. At least all the staffs now have a fucking reskin. And I mean all of them now have a reskin. So that's actually kind of cool now. I don't own all of them. I don't have the uh, the construction staff yet. I do plan on getting that at some point because I actually really like it and I really want it. But uh, aside from that... Snort. Sorry about that. Uh, no, I, I just feel like it's it's a bit of a cop-out. It makes sense because both of these use purple gems. But it kind of sucks how that and that look basically identical. Like, because, you know, you got the translucent purple, translucent purple, uh, elongated gem, elongated gem, and then, yeah, it just, it, it to me, it just kind of ruins it a bit. I don't really like the way it looks. I mean, I like the way, I love the way it looks, it's just, okay, the only way I can put it is the fact that I'm just disappointed that it looks exactly like that. That these two, like, this isn't unique anymore because this exists. All these other items are unique because there's only one of them in existence. It's not like they literally took this and made this into an icebox or, made, or you know, vice versa. Or made this into that, or that into that, or, you know, this, that, 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 and the other thing. Like, they're all unique, and they're all, there's only one in existence for each of them. Which makes them, again, unique to their own, you know, just skin. And part of the collection. Whereas this doesn't feel like it's part of the collection. It just literally feels like a low-key fucking, you know, off-brand Walmart or dollar store version of that. I do really like it. I don't regret spending six hours getting it, and I can look past the concept or the fact that it literally took Clay a whole day, just about, and then some, a whole 20, almost a whole 24 hours, to basically, upon release of this, until, you know, then, it took him a little over 24 hours, actually, to fix it. And considering their situation, their work situation, they're all working from home with the, with the fucking corona and bullshit going on, it's understandable and it's forgiven, and I can understand it. And you know what? Maybe this was just a second thought, or I don't know if this is what originally they wanted. I honestly can't wait to see what they have in line next for the fucking Wigfrid update, or rework that they're going to do this upcoming month. I can't wait to see what they're going to add for the Twitch drops then, and I know it's going to be the, from the Crystalline collection, Crystalline, Crystalline... Whatever. I just feel like, you know, they could have done something much more different with this. Like, they could have done the same thing. They could have added, like, maybe just did that gem right here, but kept the stick. And instead of, like, you know, doing this swirly shit and that's translucent like that one, they could have literally had done, I don't know, uh, just... I don't know, they could have just had this stick with that right there on it. It would have looked kind of plain and boring... But at least it would have been unique in its own merits and its own right. Instead of looking basically identical to the fucking Shadow Manipulator skin that we literally got a fucking month ago. But, I digress. I'm happy that we got it. I like that we got it. I like that every staff now at this point has a skin. Some locked were locked and are locked behind, obviously, you know, uh, Twitch drafts, which... You can't even get any of these items anymore. Uh, so, yeah. Fuck, is, am I supposed to... Hold on. There we go. I'm trying to fucking close something and it wouldn't go on properly. Now that's done and out of the way. Alright, fantastic. I had to put something like way fucking far away from me so I didn't bump into it and have a repeat of yesterday's events in the stream. Uh where I literally bumped my fucking PC tower and it just it just kinda went <clears throat> but you know. I digress I, a little bit, I suppose. It again it just <clears throat> recap. I kinda wish it they didn't make it look exactly like the shadow manipulator that came before it. But at the same time, I don't hate it. I like the look. It really, it is genuinely pretty. 
I love it immensely. I just low-key wish that it didn't look exactly like that, because now it's not... As much as I love it, it's not unique. But at the same time, you know what? Uh, after a certain period of time, it'll grow on me, I'm sure. But I'm never going to go out of, my, out of my way to make this. What's the point of it? Oh, tell a locator you can, you know, do this, and then, like, uh... Um, wherever that you could build this right here. Like there you go. Uh, you put fucking gems in there. One, two, three. Uh, and then you can basically teleport something over to here. But here's the thing. You see, you look at those. How those kind of like almost borderline like the Chaos Emerald. How this looks more elongated. That's what's kind of up with it. But it does. It, it is a bit more unique in that right, I guess. And it is nice, or nicer that it's different. Like it, it is just what it is, and there really isn't much to it. Like that. I, 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 I really don't know. I honestly have nothing to say about that aside from that. But, once again, just so I don't sound like a broken record, and I know I've said it a bunch of times, and I'm sorry, and I apologize, but I wish it didn't look like that, but I really do love the look. I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. I love the contrast of light purple, dark purple, black, and, like, you know, silvery, grayish white. I love the color contrast between it. I'm happy to have it to my collection, and I really do love it immensely. It certainly has, you know, earned its spot. Uh, in my inventory and in my collection, and I'm genuinely happy to have it. It's it was a free skin, so I can't really complain too much. But the fact that you know it's part of the collection and it just kind of just matches that. The only time I would ever want that is if they made a crystalline, uh, you know, knight armor and dark sword. Then I, I guess it would be okay because well, I mean, yeah, it'd be they wouldn't be unique, but. They'd be unique in terms of, like, you kind of can't have Mario without Luigi, you can't have the Dark Sword without the Knight Armor, because they literally did multiple different skins for it. They did, obviously, hold on, I'm going to just do all three, because why not? Alright, so, boop, boop, boop. And aside from those next to them, boop, 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 alright. So, standard armor, standard sword, uh, corrupted cloak, corrupted blade. Well, I, okay, I didn't need to change that one. Shit, uh, you have, I don't remember which one that was called, but you had that and you had that. See, basically... That had its own thing long ago, and whatnot. But then this came along, and this came along, and I really loved both of them. And it's like I like how they added a, like a new Dark Sword skin, and that was the first one, and that was the first Knight Armor skin. They look really nice with each other, and it's the fact that like you know, y you can't have Mario without Luigi, like I keep saying over and over. So it's like, oh, you know, the cloak with the sword. If they did a crystalline version of this, I would honestly really like and appreciate it. Plus, I really like this because it does actually look like the Master Sword a little bit. And I love it because it has, like, the little bits at the back. Now, this one over here, this looks more like Iron Armor or Armor from Legacy of Cain. Or Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. And the sword looks like the original uh, Soul Reaver from Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Look it up. I'm not going to fucking show a picture because lazy but I really actually do love this armor and this sword a little bit more like I like both of these really really I love I love them both equally but if I had to pick one I'm gonna keep because here's the thing I keep the armor on the uh, the newest one that they did uh, which should be on that one because that was that I don't know See, because that's weird, because... Well, no, I guess that makes sense, because, yeah. I don't know, I like to have it on that one, just because I really like how much more big and bold that one is. And I normally make two Dark Swords anyway, so it's like, might as well keep it on one that I like. And it's like, well, there you go. I really fucking adore that look, by the way. It's amazing. I'm sorry if I seem kind of spazzy. Um, 
I'm just excited that it's all, you know, working. And I've been kind of doing videos and stuff all day. Anxiety's also a bitch and all that jazz. I'm probably, I'm fitting to go to bed fairly fucking soon. Probably within, like, I don't know, the next 30 minutes to an hour or 20 minutes to an hour is when I'm going to go to bed. So that's pretty much it for the game itself, for the stuff in-game. Now we're going to actually look at the portrait frame and the icon together. And we're going to look at the actual item in question in the collection. And also to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So we're going to go to the curio cabinet. We're going to go to the portrait frames. And we're going to go to the newest one. Now, I did complain about this the first time I saw it. But it actually has grown on me a bit because it looks like something out of... Um, you know, uh, the gorge, just because, like, oh, we already have a purple one, and it's like, well, I mean, at least the backgrounds, you know, match, because you don't have that gemstone in this, and this is more like a vibrant purple, and I really like that, that looks like it would fit, like, a Halloween, uh, background really fucking well, whereas this one is just, like, kind of muted and kind of dark, almost gray, almost like a very mute tone lavender up here and like you know some uh lightish purple with some accents of white and gray and black right there well not so much gray but definitely black and you know just a little bit lighter colors i really like that background a lot and the icon itself matches it immensely it looks really nice and this looks really nice it they look good they all look good they look good together and just in general i honestly can't complain but of course if, you, if you've watched my streams or, or my videos, you know me. I prefer uh, the celestial shit, whatever the fuck background, and the bunny icon. But just for shits and giggles, we're going to go over all the fucking frames and icons thus far that I've accumulated. Here we have the scaled furnace, or the crystalline furnace. Uh, we have the shadow manipulator with the shadow manipulator. Looks very nice. You can also do that as well. You can mix and match, so to speak, and they do look kind of... Well, I mean, that looks better because it's a little bit more vibrant. Uh, that is not part of the Crystalline Collection. That is the Fool's Collection. That is Crystalline. Or Crystalline, sorry. Whoopsie doops, I forgot the Beehive. Uh, okay, Crystalline. I knew I kept going back to the Food Tab for a reason. Uh, we have that one. Those look just okay, in my opinion. They do look, they do fit the bill, but they're not the most exciting of excitables. Uh, you also had this, which is, yeah, I was right, that is part of the Crystalline Collection. You had the Salt Lamp Lantern. Uh, we had the Honey Dome. I believe it was called the Honey Dome. Yep, Honey Dome, Crystalline Honey Dome. Looks good. Fits, you know, what it looks like and what it says it is. Uh, we also have the ice box, which, you know, doesn't really match the icon nearly as much. But I promise, I mean, it looks nice. It does kind of match. But there's more accents of blue, or is this just completely white? But, you know, it is what it is. And that is, yeah, okay, that, it, that was Crystalline Collection. I was right. Uh, there's that one, which I'm not really a huge fan of. Just kind of looks more alien-esque than anything. And that was Crystalline, I was right, and the icon for that one as well. Uh, is there anything else I missed? Nope, good, great, grand, on with the show. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that one, let's go with that, the Radiant fucking Star Callers, uh, Staff, uh, Portrait. I really do like that one a little bit more than all the others, like... It just looks pretty, because I like the moon, I like the stars. It reminds me of something nostalgic, and I can't really put my finger on it, honestly. But it looks really nice, and the icon itself that goes with it is just... I mean, it's okay. It's not my absolute favorite, but, you know, it is okay. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but... Me gonna use that with the bunny icon, but that's just because that's me. It's unique. You don't have to use the fucking icon with the background that it's for. And the background, honestly, again, I can appreciate the multiple colors, the uh, vibrant blue background, the grayish black background, the stars. It looks pretty. Of course, you have that right there. And the thing is, all it takes is a bit of dark magic to travel in style. 
which I can appreciate. And this one says, uh, specially designed to conduct magical energy and looks er, and look very fancy. Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, but, you know, aside from that, they also added that to that. So it's whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it. I missed one thing in the Crystalline Collection. Uh, which was the Honey Dome, which isn't really super important that I missed it. It kind of is what it is. You've seen you've seen one, you've seen them all kind of thing. But, you know, all in all, I am going to actually go into the... No, stop going to that. I want to go to the fucking uh, host game. I, I know this is kind of spazzy and kind of rushed and whatnot, but again, I'm trying to get this video out for you, the people. And I probably should actually be a little bit more professional about it instead of spazzy, but... Again, excitement, joy, kind of coming down from some shit. Going to go to bed soon. Looking forward to tomorrow. Kind of excited for that because that's going to be fun. Looking forward to a uh, relaxing evening of just, you know, laying down, chilling, playing some games. Maybe just probably just chill with YouTube, honestly. I'm not, I don't think I'm actually going to play any games. Unless someone offers or asks, like, hey, you want to fucking play some uh, Don't Star Together? And it's like, eh, I'll host a game. And y'all can survive while I fucking stay in, you know, the, uh, you know, so on and so forth, etc., etc. You can go over here. This is your place right there. There you go. See? Honey Dome. Done. All the shit from the Crystalline Collection is all laid out before you. The Crystalline Collection, ladies and gentlemen. The Crystalline Collection. And as soon as this collection finishes, I'm going to do a video on that as well. There's also another thing where I kind of want to do a video on my thoughts of the quality of life, which I will do after this video is done. I guarantee you that. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps out a lot. Uh, if you want to join my Steam group and my Discord, links are in the description. You'll be notified whenever I go live or upload a video and all that jazz. Steam group for notifications, Discord for notifications, and, and to be social with me and other viewers and such. If you want to check out the two collections for mods that I have for Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together, uh, they're in the top of the description, uh, so feel free to check those out. I'm trying to put something away, sorry. So much shit by me that I keep forgetting to put away. And there we go, alright. It is done. So yeah, if you want to check out the mods that I personally use, sorry, get back to business. Uh, the links will be for those mod lists will be in the description. Check them out if you want to actually uh, check out some good mods that I actually would recommend, like uh, global positioning, no durability on thermal stones, a couple other things like uh, sign teleportation stuff like that. If you want to see any of the other mods, I will include all the mods that I actually have that I occasionally use. If you want to see them. Let me know, and I'll stick those in the collection for you. Uh, if not, then he's okay. But aside from that, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you bearing with me and sticking through this shit show of a, of a video. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you'll enjoy, and I'll see you next live stream video, whichever comes first. Have yourselves a good day. Bye bye Wave, you fucking asshole. Wave. Oh, and he gave you a smile. That's nice. Alright, bye. Re...